My name is Dan Ricardo and I'm the director of this production. I follow famous producer Braylon O'Reilly and the band Smoking at the Disco. I really hope you enjoy the production because I really loved working on it and it was really... What are you doing? Now, right behind me here is the famous studio. It was set up in 1971 as a record store by Orion's father. Eventually, Braylon took over and turned it into Go Get Her Lucky Studios. There, a legend was born. Bang, bow, pop, boom, platinum record. 1995 is big new music. Yeah, no, 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 unless you were actually involved in it, you're not touching the platinum record. I guess it's not every day you get to work with a legendary producer. I mean, Braylon Orion. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you get guys like Phil Spector. I mean, he had his wall of sound, but um, I guess the fact that I created the perimeter of sound puts me up there with the pantheon of you know music producer gods, which I'm very like. I'm very happy to be part of. I'm really excited to be working. I mean, we haven't actually been working working that much. with you know people we really want to be working with. But I mean, the thing is, we are really excited to be working with this new vanguard of music. Just stoked, bro. Just working with the legendary producer, Braylon O'Ryan. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's an honor, bro. Like, words can't even describe. I guess my story is quite interesting. You know, you may ask, what was I like as a child? And I would like to say that I loved playing with other children and they liked playing with me, but the point is, the reality was that I wasn't like other children. I mean, I guess... Yep, Braylon, Braylon, that's a no. We don't need any more. Uh, I mean, like, we just actually don't have time for that. Uh, so, we just need to get on with the, with the thing. Can we talk to the band if that's okay? Hey guys, uh, so you guys are smo uh, the band smoking at the disco? Mm. Yeah, that, yeah, that's us. That's, right, um, that's me, you and him. So you guys can, uh, can you guys tell us a bit about your band, a bit about yourselves? Yeah, sure. We started the band a few years ago when Dan Kuhn started shredding some new beats on the drum, and then things just kicked off from there. No, band camp. Hey. There's that little spot, you know, behind the, the toilets. No. It was good. No. We was going to realize we had the talent to make music and really make a difference in people's lives. Because at the end, it's not about the fame and the money or the glory. It's about really making music that will touch the heart and soul. Wow. Yeah, that's wow. Deep. That's deep. That's, that's, really, that's really beautiful. Yeah, really right in the core. It's really beautiful, mm. Dan Kuhn. Uh, do you have any more wise words, man? One, two, one, two, two, buckle my shoe. Enough bottom end? Well, he is difficult to work with, but we've been a duo for ages. Sure, he never mentions me, but people understand. Yeah, what are you gonna do? Jenkins, what are you doing? Is this the Jenkins documentary? I think not. Now, I'm gonna go back in there. I want you to tell me when it's all okay. Give me the thumbs up. You know, when it's Gucci. You down? Okay. This button allows me to communicate with the band and uh, I mean it's like the artistic hub of the whole recording process. It's like I'm the artistic control centre and they are my planes in the sky I've got to keep aloft. So I'll show you what I mean. Smoking in the disco, uh, can you hear me? Because what I'm about to say is really, really important. So I want you guys to establish a kind of great groove so we can get a contempt. Well, we can hear you, Braylon. I think yeah. you're going to have to press the button. What the hell are you guys saying? What do you mean you can't hear me? What and how? I think he's talking he? to you. Okay. Um. <sighs> what a bunch of amateurs. God, I miss Beyonce. Yeah, we're really worried at this stage. He's quite hard to work with. Uh, but Jenkins, he's been quite helpful. Look, it's been tough recently. I mean, the band started to get a little bit of stage fright around Braylon, so I thought it's best if we just did a few sessions where we could actually be a little bit more productive.
long and brutal. There is nothing easy about recording music. The boys in the band, are, they've been listening to my instructions, they've been working on their craft. And I mean, the great thing is that, I mean, if you've got a producer, you know, the guy who's actually telling you what to do, I mean, it is good to actually listen and take notice. So this is what the guys have been really good at. So they're working really hard. Let's go in and have a look. Okay, smoking at the disco, let's get going. Hey, come on, let's get up. What's going on? Where am I? Back in Korea. What on earth is going here? Come on, guys, up. I had this dream that we were actually doing work. <laughs> it wasn't a dream, bro. What? We were working late last night and you fell asleep and started having nightmares. Yeah, we didn't want to wake you, man. You know, it's really unhealthy to be woken up by an external force, like your mom and her mom. I don't know what you guys are on about, but we got a record to cut. Come on, where's Jenkins? Uh, Jenkins. Where's Jenkins? Jenkins, what's going on here? Oh, it is morning already. <laughs> yeah, arise, Sir Jenkins. Hey, look, the band's starting to talk nonsense. They're starting to do stuff without us, you know? Uh, well, we have done on, a couple of on, sessions hang on. What are you doing here? without you. It's been really productive. Oh, I see. I see now. So, uh, you're thinking you're just a little bit more superior than me now, doing all this on your own, huh? It, that's not it at all. Well, look, I'm sorry. It, it's for the band's sake. I mean, the money will not come in unless we sell something. You know what? If that's the case, maybe it'd be better if one of us was to actually leave. Yeah, I reckon. Yeah. That's why me and the band are leaving. I haven't even asked the band yet. I don't need you or any of your connections. I can run this whole studio myself. Oh, well. So that's it. You don't get to see us anymore. When do we get paid? No one said anything about getting paid. And why have you been doing those ridiculous accents this whole time? It was never needed. Yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, we thought it was cool. Wait, what accent? This isn't good. That concludes our production today. I hope we've inspired you in some way. We'll see you later. Bye now. And cut! <sighs> Always gets me every time. I've been thinking, you've been drinking. People say you keep sinking. I haven't got a clue. There's no keeping up with you. Money, money, money. Big nugget. Oh, you went to the... Um... <laughs>